Hi there, welcome back to the next ClickSense tutorial video and in this tutorial video we will look at the date functions which are day, month, week, year and that helps us extracting the respective values from the date. So let's see how we can do this and first of all we will going to look at the data. So data is like this where you have the serial number, you have the sales group, you have the teams you have the respective date like uh, January 5, February 5, then you have May 12 and then respective time at which the data was collected or let's say the deal was closed. If somebody is really particular about uh, you know getting that data, uh, then that time information is present. Um, and then finally, you have the amount information. So let's load this click close come to analysis and I will just squeeze this little bit just create a space and come over here table add the dimension which is date hoping all the dates are coming yes now I will come to the add columns and click on measure and here I will write the first function I'm not going into the expression editor uh, by clicking on FX here, as you can see here. Uh, the reason being is these are very straightforward and uh, I can straight, for, straight away, you know, go ahead and apply that. So I have just entered the day function and specified the date, which is a dimension over here. And you can see it has extracted this middle value from the date, which is nothing but the day information. So how it identifies uh, whether this is a day well, that based on if you go to the data and if I click on the main function, main script, you know, there are a couple of variables like the time format or the date format. So date format has been set to MMTDYYYY. Similarly, timestamp format has been saved. A lot of different format which have been saved. And based on that, it's picking up the information. All right. So now we have selected the date let's look at the week so again the straightforward function week and specify the date if i press tab this is the first week this is the second week uh, this is the sixth week because it has moved into fab and then finally you have in value in may that's why the week information is 20. after this we can look at the month so I will simply add the month measure, month and date. If I press tab, it has extracted the textual value of the month, which is the Jan from here, then Fab, then March, sorry, May over here, right? And finally, we will add last measure, which is year and specify the date. And as you would expect, it will extract the the year information which is mentioned in this date so that's about the day month week and year extraction function which you can implement within clicksense and get the desired output for the manipulation of dates now i'll meet you in the next video with a new topic